Luminaries! Welcome back to our channel. I'm Michelle and I'm back with another late night recording by myself. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and continue our Halloween theme reviews for this month and I was actually like starting to run out of like Halloween themed facts because I, I love Halloween but I don't have that many. I have probably more Christmas ones but um but I do actually have two more that fits the theme today, so I'm gonna go ahead and show those. Um, one of them, you could probably guess what it might be, but we're gonna actually start with the other one. Um, this one I just got in, I think this past week, and I think she's gonna be a popular one. So it's a pretty new release, it's within this last... Um, I can't remember if it was this last pre-order or if it was like the round before. I've kind of lost track of them because they haven't really been doing the pre-orders. I've been waiting until the bags actually get here just because we know how pre-orders have been. They're a little a little hinky and then also you're not allowed to use the affiliate discount codes and stuff to the shops um, unless they're actually in stock. So I think a lot of people have been waiting a little bit more just because that way they can uh, use the discount code and plus things aren't selling out as fast as they have been in the previous like year you know um i know when it was like first starting to do the pre-orders and when like launch i hit that first boom i think people were freaking out and so a lot of people pre-ordered everything so a lot of things sold out pretty quickly um but i have noticed that towards like the tail end of when you know they had that first round of pre-orders where they were doing it they had stopped for a couple months if you guys remember just to get caught up because the pre-orders were falling so far behind um so they kind of just canceled them to give everyone a chance to catch up and actually get the orders in um but i noticed towards the tail end of that people weren't pre-ordering as much and then i've noticed since it's picked back up um, it's been a lot slower. I haven't really seen a whole lot of stuff like sell out um, like during the actual pre-order stage. Um, like once they do start coming out and stuff, like the shops once they start getting them in, I've mentioned before that not every shop gets like a specific bag in at the same time. Um, Launch Light kind of sends them out almost at random. Some shops will get one bag first, others will get another one first. I think it's I don't know whether it's just because they don't all come in at once and so this is like the easiest way to give all the small shops a fair chance to like sell out um, new stock coming in because then if you know everyone gets different ones in at first then people kind of shop around to try to get the bag first from those shops and then anyone that missed it kind of waits for like the other shops to get the next bags in but whatever the reasoning is I'm not sure but that's kind of my thought on it. Um, I think like the out of like the recent like new releases, the only one I've seen sell out fairly quickly once they show up in the small shop is probably like the Lisa Frank one. So I'll show this in another video. I don't think I've done a review on it yet, but um, I have noticed that when this one shows up in, no, you know, I think I actually did a review. If you're, anyways, um, I have noticed that when this one does pop up in shops, it does sell out pretty quickly. Um, and I think a couple shops have already had a chance to restock it and get like a second shipment in but that one I have noticed sold out pretty quickly but I think it's the only one I've noticed recently out of like the main line order to sell out. Um, exclusives still sell out pretty well but yeah I've noticed the main line one doesn't sell out as easily anymore but anyways going back to the main line this one has started popping up into stores and I love this. So if you're a big fan of Corpse Bride, you know, Tim Burton, all his movies and stuff, um, I think two other bags have been released for Corpse Bride. I want to say both exclusives actually, I think. Toys and Fun had one. I think hers unfortunately is sold out, but definitely go check hers out. That one's pretty cute. And then actually, you know what, there's like a really similar one. I think Modern Pinup came out with two. Um, I think it was a con exclusive and they were able to be the one to stock that. I'll try to find the picture so I can show you guys but yeah those are the two that I can think of right now. I can't remember if there have been other mainline ones but those are the two that I can remember they're both exclusives. Um, I think like I said I think Toys and Fun has been sold out. Modern Pinup might still have there so worth going to check them but this is the first mainline one that I can think of in my head that they released for Corpse Bride. And this is the one that um, I ended up getting because she is so pretty. 
so just to give you guys a quick look at her detailing here so emily you've got her little flower crown on top so her whole head here is an applique i'm gonna need to probably like lay it flat somewhere to try to put it back because her head's bent quite a bit forward but you've got her flower crown there um this little piece right here it's a little hard to see but it is a veil piece that's kind of like a tattered veil piece and it is attached along this edge right here and so it takes off of her face a little bit right there you guys can see i didn't realize that that's what it was on her head and i didn't realize it was like an actual piece on top but yeah there's that you've got kind of like a lot of um debossing all around like her eyebrows here her, this part around her eye that's all debossed there giving it a nice 3d look and feel this whole is like i said this whole top part is an applique get it all the way around the bottom look at the little zipper um, it's been a while since I watched this movie, so I can't remember his name, but I know this is her little warm friend that lives in her eyeball. And then you've got her rose bouquet. So look at how pretty this is. So all actual flowers placed on there. I'm showing you guys. You've got, you know, the blue and the white, and then more of the tool material all the way around there. Then this white part right here is another applique on top of the front pocket, so you do get a round front pocket and you know what let's check let's see if her the rest of her face is in there i've noticed that's been a thing now it is look so you do get the rest of her face in the front pocket cute i'm gonna show you guys the lining too because it might be easier to see so it's all it's her and it's victor right is his name victor i'm gonna have to look that up now i feel bad I love this movie, but it has been quite a while since I've seen it. You know her song that she plays on the piano though? I love the song she plays on the piano. It's probably one of my favorites. I think I learned it on the piano when I um, when I first saw the movie a long time ago. Just a, little, a really simplified version of it. But it's her and him dancing and stuff. It's so cute. And then look at this. Look at all this extra detailing around the edge. So it's the butterflies. So that's a big thing for her. You've got the cool, you guys know me, I love a good new plaque. A specialized. You do get a nice um, corpse bride plaque there. It does it? Yes, yeah, it's Tim Burton's corpse bride. And then, yeah, the debossing goes all the way around. Check out this back. All right, so you've got really pretty blue strap with the roses, and then it says here, it says, I love you, but you're not mine. Oh, so sad. And it's sweet, but yeah, so this is so much amazing detail. Oh, the little tag even has her on there. Um, so yeah, the, the amount of detail on this bag, when I saw them kind of do a quick preview of it, I was just like, all right, that wasn't. The other two bags, like they were both very pretty, just not for me. You guys know me, I'm, my collection has gotten so big that so I have to try to be pickier now about what bags I get because I literally do not have space. <laughs> um, just checking really quick, there is a back pocket, not zippered, just an open pocket. But yeah, I, I'm quite literally running out of room, so I'm, I'm trying to be a lot pickier about what bags I get. I'm still having a hard time. I'm trying to be a, at least a little bit pickier but this one just there's so much detailing on her and she's so pretty mm -hmm. i love it so um gosh i've gotten so bag many bags in lately that i can't quite remember where i got this one from i might it might be cordy's or stella ray i'm not sure i'm so sorry i'll 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 link it in the bottom down here once i remember who has it that way you guys know who has it in stock um because not all the small shops have gotten this in but i'll let you guys know at least where i got mine just so you know that it's in stock there but if you do like shopping with another shop i'm sure either they already have it in or we'll get her soon um i mentioned before if you're new here um, i have a link tree down in the description box below if you need discounts codes or anything i have one to a lot of the small shops so most of the main ones um and then a few like smaller ones that some people might not know about but 
yeah, go, go check them out and go find this. And like I said, if it's in stock at the shop, rather than pre-ordering, you guys will be able to use the affiliate codes on them and save a little bit. But she's so pretty. I think if you're a big corpse, go ahead. Big Corpse Bride fan. I think this is a cool one for you to grab. Sorry, I can't talk. It's like two in the morning right now. I'm tired. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I think she's very pretty. So this is super cute. Yeah. So there's that one. I think she fits in the Halloween theme. You know, Tim Burton. It's it's like Halloweeny, kind of dark and spooky. I guess <laughs> it works. Um, but anyways, second bag for today, you guys. Like I said, you probably know what it is. Um, these overalls are from Hot Topic so they have a they had a like a Halloween campaign thing so I was this was the one that I chose to post for um, the Halloween campaign actually I chose this and also the um, one of the jackets from Game of Thrones but this I thought was super cool because it's like it's like a really casual like overall skirt dress thing that I could technically just wear around if I really wanted to outside of Halloween but it's also perfect for a costume obviously just throw a shirt on underneath um I think there was a matching shirt like the actual like Chucky striped shirt I think they have that too I just I obviously I only grabbed the overalls but yeah they, there's the matching striped shirt if you like that too it's all a hot topic I'll leave a link down below for you guys there too um but yeah try to get all of your last minute Halloween stuff into um because it's what by the time I post this hopefully technically today <laughs> it's like early Sunday morning now um it's gonna be less than a less than 10 days to Halloween anyways sorry I am this is what I mean I am tired so I'm starting to like lose my train of thought a little bit but you guys can probably guess now I finally got my Chucky bag in so this was actually sold and released like last Halloween. I think yeah, last Halloween they released like a lot of like the horror movie um bad guys. So I think like they had like Chucky, who else did they have? I think they had like Okay, I'm not super good at my like horror movie baddies. And there was like Michael Myers, right? See the one with the white mask? There's a couple screen bags, but I think they weren't, they were like Hot Topic ones, not necessarily the main brand. Um, but yeah, they, they, there was a lot of spooky season and baddies and stuff. Um, and then this was one of them. Don't ask me why. I didn't get it, which is weird because I actually do like the movies. Like I'll, I'll watch them probably like once every year or so. And then I just, I don't know why I ended up passing on the bag and then afterwards I really regretted it. But by that point, like this was one of the ones again during that pre-order hype, it did sell out. And then by the time I kind of got around to wanting it, like no one's really selling it. So I had a hard time finding it. And then obviously people were like marking it up. So I was like, oh, I don't really want to pay for retail for it. But awesome collectibles is where I got mine. They just got a stock of these in. I don't know if it's still available, but Go check them out if you're looking for this bag. I know that they have it in stock. Um, I want to say someone else just mentioned they got some stock in and now I can't remember who it was. I'll have to look it up. Maybe Circle of Hope. But anyways, I know for sure the Awesome Collectibles was the one that I was able to grab this from. They got a stock in. I think they should have more so definitely go check them out and grab this bag before it sells out again because this has been a popular one. Um, I think just Chucky and stuff in general is a pretty popular character and movie franchise because we went trunk or treating um, with the girls yesterday and I actually saw a decent amount of people dressed up as the character so I get the feeling this bag will probably sell out again so if you want it definitely go grab it now before you regret it like I did um, and don't forget that this year they did so they released Chucky last year this year they did release Tiffany and again a lot of small shops have already started getting her in so if you like her again go check out my link tree for a shop or go to your favorite one and stuff shop with my code if you like um but she's out so I think it's like it's her white dress with the black vest and then you get her little necklace with Tiff and stuff on it too so super cute definitely go if you're um, if you like that character and then if you want it to pair with if you already have a checking bag you want to pair with them I think she's a pretty cool one to have too um, I don't think I'm gonna grab hers 
just because for me it's a little harder to recognize who the character is unless you like know and if you guys know me I tend to like the bags that are like super obvious because you know I was like if I'm gonna wear this stuff it's gonna be in your face <laughs> so you know the character that's why I think that's why I like the cosplay style bags um a little bit more because I'm like I'm at this point if I'm wearing it you might as well know what it is um, cause some of the stuff, especially like the all over print ones, sometimes it's a little harder to tell what it is unless you're like kind of up close to it. Um, a lot, obviously that's for a lot of people, they prefer those and that's, that's fine. <laughs> that's your thing. Um, not knocking anybody for anything, just everyone's personal taste. For me, I don't mind being in your face about it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so Tiff, grab hers, she's out. But for this one, I can show you guys finally the details on this. It's so cool. So of course, you've got a specialized plaque, which I said I love a good specialized plaque. So this is all, so this is printed on there, but the overall right here, that is an applique sewn on. You've got actual buttons on there with the little stitching. And then the front pocket is obviously the front pocket on his overall, so good guys. You've got the, of course, the print all around. The side has those stripes for his sleeves. A little zipper there is a knife because of course Chucky. And then I think it actually is a little bit easier for me to show you guys the inside lining with the front pocket. But it looks like cards. So it is. It's cards with a bunch of different weapons on it. Looks like you've got a knife, hammer, scissors. Is that a crowbar? I can't tell. It looks like some kind of stick or blank right there. But yeah, what well, is that on the inside? And let's check for a back pocket on you guys. Yes, there's an open back pocket in it. So obviously I don't have like the first round of this. I don't know if there's any difference between this and the first round of release. There wasn't any mention of it, so they should be more or less the same, I'd say. Um, I'm sure you guys too want to play on the back, which is one of his catchphrases. A little tag there. But yeah, oh gosh, that's cute. Yeah, I'm so glad that I was finally able to get this one, you guys. I was super excited. So thank you, Awesome Collectible, for bringing it back. Shout out to them over there. Yeah, super cool. Like I, said, like I said, make sure to go check them out. I think they do have a physical store somewhere in California. Um, and it's a big store too. From what I've seen, they have like an entire... So they have obviously a lot of other collectibles and stuff too. But Lounge Fly is one of their big things. And I think they have like a ginormous wall full of um, Lounge Flies. So a lot of old ones, new ones. And then I think they also sometimes will have exclusives from other shops too available um i think i think they're the ones i've seen a couple of shops where like they'll have exclusives from other shops so i think they just um they reach out to them and share their exclusives which is pretty cool but yeah so go if you are um if you're in california look up the shop and check them out because you might be able to find something that you've been looking for in there um those are the only two last slides i have for today because like i said i'm running out of like halloweeny themed bags so this might be the last one for this month before Halloween. Um, but I do have one um, special thing to show you guys that I found a spear Halloween. I saw it and I thought it was like the coolest thing. Um, I don't have a, my daughter's phone, so I'm gonna show you guys something. But look at this prop that I found a spear Halloween and it's an actual like wristlet bag. How funny is this? Okay, so just show you guys so a couple things when i looked it up um in the store and then online so there's like two different sizes of it so there's like a kid's size who is listed as like kids so i guess like the props for like a kid and then there's like the adult one there's a difference oh i can already hear baby alex crying i'll hurry real quick so there was like two different sizes so kids and adult but the difference is like a half like an inch and a half different size but i'm like i'm i only saw this one when i was in the store this is the kid size one but i'm like this is more than big enough for me i'm not super worried about getting the adult size one i think the difference was like two three bucks i think twenty dollars versus like 22 23 something like that but look at how cool this prop is so you get the little strap being like this it's like the stripes on his shirt right on the sleeve chucky that's embroidered 
look at that fancy one, embroidered on the handle. This is obviously like this little fake blood marking on there, but look at this. This is a freaking wristlet and it's big too. So I've got an iPhone 13 Pro Max. It fits in here. It actually zips up and everything. I tested it out. So this is like sizable, you guys. So it fits like the big iPhone size. Um, and then obviously there's not a whole lot more, but if you put your phone and say even just like a little card holder, chapstick, like something tiny, a couple small things, but like it's a wristlet. So enough for you to carry like the essential couple things for you. And then it's a, it's a freaking prop to match your costume. How cool is this? I just want to show you guys this random thing that came. I found a spirit Halloween. So check them out. That's another thing that you're looking for, but all right, I'm going to go and try to get the baby back to sleep here. All right, you guys do all the usual stuff, like subscribe, follow me on all the social medias, fun stuff like that. Um, have any questions, leave it down below. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we will see y'all next time. Thank you.